The Tragic Life of a Roman Slave A Story of Survival The life of Epictetus, a renowned Stoic philosopher, is a fascinating journey of resilience, wisdom, and the pursuit of inner freedom. Born into slavery in the first century CE, he overcame numerous obstacles, eventually gaining his freedom and becoming a respected philosopher. This video explores the life of Epictetus, focusing on different aspects of his story to provide a captivating narrative that delves into the world of ancient Rome and the enduring influence of Stoic philosophy. If you're intrigued by the story of Epictetus, then sit back and relax because we are now exploring a true story of survival. But before that, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And if you want to learn more about his life and teachings, be sure to stick around for the entire video. Birth and Childhood Epictetus was born into slavery around 50 CE in Hierapolis, Phrygia, a thriving city in the region now known as modern-day Turkey. Hierapolis was well known for its hot springs, which were believed to have healing properties and attracted people from various parts of the Roman Empire. Despite the city's reputation as a center for healing and leisure, Epictetus's early life was far from idyllic. As a slave, Epictetus belonged to a social class that faced extreme hardships and prejudices. Slaves in ancient Rome were considered property and were often bought, sold, and traded like commodities. They were subject to the whims of their owners and had no personal rights, legal protection, or control over their own lives. They could be separated from their families, forced into labor, or subjected to violence without consequence. Epictetus's mother was also a slave, which meant that her son inherited her status upon his birth. Little is known about his father, but it is likely that he too was a slave, or at best, a freedman with limited rights. Growing up in such a family, Epictetus would have been acutely aware of the restrictions and limitations imposed upon him and his loved ones. When he was still a child, Epictetus was sold to Epaphroditus, a wealthy freedman who worked as a secretary and agent for Emperor Nero. Epaphroditus was responsible for various tasks, including managing the emperor's affairs and handling confidential correspondence. Given his close association with the imperial court, Epaphroditus was a powerful and influential figure in Roman society. While living in the household of Epaphroditus, Epictetus was exposed to the stark contrast between the privileged lives of the elite and the hardships endured by slaves. He would have witnessed firsthand the excesses, indulgences, and abuses of power that were commonplace in the Roman ruling class. These experiences would later inform his philosophical teachings, which emphasized the importance of self-discipline, moral integrity, and inner resilience. Despite the harsh realities of his early life, Epictetus showed a remarkable aptitude for learning and reflection. Recognizing his potential, Epaphroditus allowed him to study philosophy under the guidance of Musonius Rufus, one of the most prominent Stoic teachers of the time. This rare opportunity not only offered Epictetus a means to expand his intellectual horizons, but also provided him with the tools to navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life as a slave. Education and Philosophy Despite the limitations of his circumstances, Epictetus was fortunate to receive an education in philosophy. He was allowed to study under Mosunius Rufus, a leading Stoic teacher in Rome. Stoicism, a school of thought founded by Zeno of Citium, advocated rationality, self-control, and virtue as essential elements of a good life. For slaves like Epictetus, philosophy provided a means of finding meaning and dignity in their existence. Through his studies, Epictetus learned to cope with his condition by applying Stoic principles to his life. He embraced the idea that while he could not control his external circumstances, he could control his internal state, including his thoughts, emotions, and reactions to events. In time, he became a respected and influential thinker among his peers, transcending the social constraints imposed upon him by his status as a slave. Torture and Disability in the midst of his philosophical education, Epictetus was subjected to a brutal act of violence that would leave a lasting impact on his life. For reasons unknown, his master, Epaphroditus, decided to inflict severe physical punishment upon him. This was a grim reminder of the vulnerability and powerlessness that slaves faced in ancient Rome, as they could be subjected to arbitrary and cruel punishments by their masters without any legal protection or recourse. During the torture, Epictetus's leg was severely injured and he was left with a permanent disability. According to some accounts, his master twisted his leg and Epictetus calmly warned him that it would break. When the inevitable happened and his leg did indeed break, Epictetus remained composed, 
simply stating that he had warned his master of the outcome. This anecdote, whether historically accurate or not, exemplifies the stoic ideal of maintaining equanimity and composure in the face of adversity. Despite the cruelty he endured, Epictetus refused to be defined by his circumstances or physical limitations. He embraced his disability as an opportunity to demonstrate the core principles of Stoicism, which emphasize the importance of focusing on one's own thoughts, emotions, and actions, rather than being swayed by external events or situations beyond one's control. Epictetus's injury served as a constant reminder of the inherent vulnerability of the human body and the inevitability of suffering. Yet instead of allowing himself to be consumed by bitterness or despair, he used his experience as a powerful lesson in the art of living. He believed that while we cannot control the circumstances of our lives, we can choose how to respond to them, and in doing so we can find inner strength, resilience, and tranquility. In his teachings, Epictetus often used his own disability as an example to illustrate the Stoic principles of acceptance and endurance. He argued that the body is merely a vessel for the soul and that true freedom and happiness are not contingent upon physical health or material possessions, but rather on the cultivation of inner virtues, such as wisdom, courage, and self-discipline. Epictetus' approach to his disability also provided a powerful counter-narrative to the prevailing cultural norms of ancient Rome, which placed a high value on physical perfection, strength, and prowess. In a society that glorified the body and often dismissed or marginalized those with disabilities, Epictetus' life and teachings served as a testament to the indomitable spirit and potential of the human mind. Freedom and Exile In the years following Nero's death, Epictetus' life took a dramatic turn when he was granted his freedom by his master Epaphroditus. The reason behind his manumission remain unclear, but it is possible that his intellectual accomplishments and reputation as a philosopher played a role in his emancipation. Whatever the cause, Epictetus now found himself in the unique position of being a freed man with the opportunity to pursue his own path in life. As a freed man, Epictetus was no longer considered a slave but was still not equal to a free-born Roman citizen. However, he did gain certain rights and privileges, such as the ability to own property, enter into legal contracts, and marry. With these newfound liberties, Epictetus began teaching philosophy in Rome sharing the wisdom he had gained from his studies with Mosunius Rufus and his own experiences as a slave. Epictetus' school quickly gained a reputation as a center for rigorous philosophical inquiry and attracted students from various social backgrounds, including members of the Roman elite. His teachings focused on the practical application of Stoic principles in everyday life, emphasizing the importance of self-mastery, resilience, and moral integrity. Despite his humble origins, Epictetus emerged as a prominent and respected figure in the intellectual landscape of Rome. However, this period of relative stability and success was short-lived. In 89 CE, Emperor Domitian issued an edict banishing all philosophers from Rome. While the reasons for this decision remain a subject of debate among historians, it is likely that Domitian viewed philosophers as potential threats to his rule, given their tendency to question and criticize established norms and authority. Faced with the prospect of exile, Epictetus demonstrated the same stoic resilience that had defined his life thus far. Undaunted by the imperial decree, he relocated to Nicopolis, a thriving city on the western coast of Greece. There, he established a new school of philosophy which would become an influential center of learning and intellectual exchange for the remainder of his life. In Nicopolis, Epictetus continued to teach and develop his philosophical ideas, drawing upon his experiences of slavery, freedom, and exile as sources of inspiration and insight. His commitment to the principles of Stoicism remained unwavering, even in the face of adversity and upheaval. Through his teachings, he sought to empower his students to cultivate inner strength, wisdom, and tranquility, regardless of their external circumstances or the challenges they might encounter in life. Epictetus' exile from Rome, while undoubtedly a significant hardship, ultimately served to strengthen and refine his philosophical vision. By embracing the challenges of his life with courage and equanimity, he became a living embodiment of the Stoic ideal and a testament to the transformative power of philosophy in the face of adversity. Legacy and Influence Epictetus never wrote down his teachings, but his student Arian recorded them in the Discourses and the Enchiridion, or Handbook. These works highlight the main themes and ideas of Epictetus' philosophy, such as the distinction between what is in our power and what is not, the importance of living according to nature and reason, and the value of freedom and happiness as inner states of mind. Epictetus' teachings have left a lasting impact on the world of philosophy and beyond. His insights have influenced numerous philosophers and thinkers throughout the history, including Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Montaigne, Kant, and Nietzsche, among others. 
His emphasis on rationality, self-control, and inner freedom has resonated with countless individuals seeking guidance in their own lives. Moreover, Epictetus's life story serves as a testament to the power of the human spirit and the resilience of the individual in the face of adversity. Despite being born into slavery, facing physical disability, and experiencing exile, he was able to rise above his circumstances and make a lasting contribution to the world of philosophy. His teachings continue to inspire and challenge us to cultivate inner strength, wisdom, and tranquility in the midst of life's challenges. Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher who was born a slave, offers a compelling example of the transformative power of philosophy and the human spirit. His life and teachings have left an indelible mark on the history of ideas, inspiring generations of thinkers and seekers who grapple with the questions of freedom, happiness, and the meaning of life. By examining the various aspects of Epictetus' life and story, we can gain a deeper understanding of the social, cultural, and historical context that shaped his thoughts and appreciate the enduring relevance of his insights for our contemporary world. From his humble beginnings in slavery, to his rise as a respected philosopher, Epictetus' life serves as a powerful reminder that our inner state of mind, rather than our external circumstances, ultimately determines our happiness and fulfillment. By embracing rationality, self-control, and virtue, we can cultivate inner freedom and dignity, regardless of the challenges life may throw at us. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video on Epictetus and the transformative power of philosophy, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content.